All right, hey guys, Cam King, Grassfed Marketing. All right, so here's something I want I want to address today that I think is really important for you to understand, particularly for those of you who are running Facebook ads or who have run Facebook ads, but because you didn't make any money off of them, meaning they were they weren't profitable, you stopped doing it, or maybe because, or for those of you who aren't running Facebook ads and who never have. Um, perhaps because uh, you have a friend who did it and they didn't make any money or they couldn't figure it out or it was too complex or you're too old and technology is moving too fast and you don't want to put your time into learning Facebook because tomorrow it'll be something else or whatever the reason is for those of you who, to, who are doing Facebook ads, who have done them in the past and who have yet to do them, this is for you. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so the number one problem here that we have to fix with Facebook ads is that most people, and for beef producers, grass-fed beef producers specifically, 99% of grass-fed producers who are trying to sell direct to the consumer, they are they're not, not um, do, using, utilizing Facebook ads profitably, okay? They haven't figured out how to use a Facebook ad and to immediately turn a profit on that ad spend. And, and there's a number of reasons why. Now, I'll just go through a couple of, of the ones that I see that are the biggest causes for that, uh, for that loss in, in um, Facebook ad. So, uh, first of all, excuse me, hold on, I'm gonna drink. <clears throat> all right, first of all, what you need to understand is that the purpose of a Facebook ad is not to then um, drive someone to your website, okay? Uh, that's not the most effective way to use Facebook and it's a terrible way to try and convert cold traffic or cold prospects Meaning people who have never heard of you before who you are targeting on Facebook and putting your Advertisement in front of them on their Facebook feed. So it's a terrible way to send those people to um, to, to, to turn them into customers Hold on I have a cough drop. I had a little cold uh... I do not see anything. Okay. All right, we'll be okay. No, I'm gonna find a cough drop. I gotta have one around here somewhere. Uh, nope, still don't see one. All right, anyways. Okay, so uh, where was I? Uh, Facebook, terrible way to send people to your website. Yeah, that's a terrible way to, to turn people, cold traffic into a customer. Right, is to send them to your website where they're exposed to either your homepage or your product page that has kind of a listings of all of your core products that you sell, whether that's like a steak box or a 25 pound beef share, um, you know, whatever that is, like your core offering. So that's the absolute last thing you want to do with a Facebook ad is immediately direct those people to your website, to your homepage or your product page. Okay, I don't even I don't like websites. Um, I like marketing funnels. Websites, I think those are a thing of the past. They, they, small businesses, for the most part, still use websites because, well, because they're small businesses. Um, kind of by virtue of the fact that they're small, they haven't quite figured out how to do things effectively yet. How to do things in a way that bring to them the results of you know, kind of financial or sales success, right? They haven't figured out how to sell in the millions or tens or hundreds of millions of dollars of their product. Hence, they're small. Okay, so the the people who have figured it out. They're not running small businesses anymore, uh, for the most part, anyways. Uh, sure, there are lots of people who uh, who do figure this uh, funnel marketing out, right? How to use a funnel to grow your grow business. How, they do figure out how to use how to use it effectively in their business, but they choose, right? They deliberately choose to keep their business small, right? Based on their lifestyle choices, based on what they're optimizing for in their life. Most people are optimizing for financial freedom and then time freedom. I think that's reversed. I think we should always be optimizing for time freedom above financial freedom um, because we don't have any more time. Once we use it, once it passes, it's passed us, us by like it ne we never get any more back. Money, um, we can always make more money, okay? But m making money is a science, right? Like making money, that's just, you need to, all you have to do is go find people who have already made money doing the thing that you want to do and then just replicate their results. You can literally just go to them and say, how did you do what you do? Will you show me how to do it? 
And if they say yes, like your goal, and if they say no, then go find somebody else who is willing to show you how they did it. Okay, and that's actually the whole point of grass-fed marketing is to show you how we did it and how we're teaching hundreds of farmers all over the world, but specifically the majority in the United States, how to do what we've done. Okay, and because we are willing to show you. Now, obviously, most of what I, 95, 96, 97 percent of everything that I put out, all of the content, the videos, the emails, the free downloads, the PDFs, the webinars, all of like the dozens and dozens of live trainings that I've done, um, all of that stuff is free, okay? And it's all free. And and the reason being is, a well, there's a few reasons. A for me, it's about legacy, okay? I want to be I want to be known as uh, the person who has done more for the for agriculture and farming than anyone else, right? I want to be the guy who has helped the most families um, improve their circumstances, who has helped the most, like the largest number of families um, go from struggling, from having a constrained lifestyle where there's never enough money, there's never enough, um, you know, uh, time at the end of the month, right? There's never enough money at the end of the month. Um, to having ultimate freedom, right? And ultimate freedom starts, I think the priority should be uh, time and then money, but it starts with money. You gotta nail that because it's the easiest thing. It's easier to figure out how to have money freedom than it is time freedom, okay? And, and having financial or money freedom, that buys you time freedom, all right? Money is not evil, sales is not evil, marketing is not evil. These are just the mechanisms that we use in our culture and our society today that are dictated to us by the market and the market conditions that if we do them well, they allow us to then go have all of the time freedom that we desire. And time freedom doesn't mean, at least for me, it might be different for you, but for me it doesn't mean laying around not doing anything. It means choosing how I spend my time, being able to prioritize and looking at my time at each day through the lens of what do I want to optimize my day for? Is it contribution to others? Is it serving my family? Is it teaching my children? Is it um, loving and serving and, and helping my wife? Um, is it starting a new business? Is it, do we want to go travel? Do we want to, um, right? We can optimize for our how we spend our time, but only if we have enough money to buy that you know, that ability, that time freedom. So that's what I'm trying to teach you right now is I'm trying to teach you the strategies that are proven strategies that not only have we done, that we've discovered in our business over the last few years, that really I've discovered over the past 12 years and then applied specifically to a grass-fed beef business starting in 2014. But now we've been able to replicate that success not by doing it for other people, just by showing other farmers how to do step-by-step, day-by-day exactly what we've done. And imagine that if you follow the plan and you do the work, it, like miracle of miracles, it returns the exact same results that we had. Okay? Like once you have a plan in place or a blueprint to follow, once you know the formula, then all you have to do is mix in the right ingredients and it works. Okay? So we don't have to be like your set success with the right formula, your success is no longer contingent upon things like how much money can you spend on advertising. Um, your personality, whether or not you enjoy talking to people on the phone, whether or not you have s photography skills or video editing skills, whether or not you live in a big market or you have lots of prospective customers in your area, whether or not you have competition, whether or not um, you have access to, to uh, a supply, a consistent supply of beef to be able to supply your, your customers. Like all of those things, none of them actually matter if you have the right formula in place because that formula has already solved the problems. It's already fixed everything that needs to be fixed and rearranged it. That formula, the formula that we provide, that we share and teach, and I'm giving you uh, for free in these trainings and these videos, is we show you what to do and then we show you how to do it. And then most importantly, we show you the right order to do everything in, okay? So knowing what to do, that's important, right? And there's a lot of people, you might even know what to do, right? Chances are, you know at least some of, if not most of the right things to do, but you probably don't know how to do them the most effectively that they can be done to deliver the results back to your business that you desire, right? And then even fewer, like a tiny percentage of people actually know the right order. That is the thing that, so from my own personal kind of personal growth and progress, right, in the business world and just personally as a human, as a man, as a husband, as a father, um, I really, 
focus a lot of my time and effort and attention and money on acquiring knowledge, right? On bettering myself and learning and growing and improving. And, and that's due, I mean, kind of that, the core of that is, I guess it's both how I was raised, but then also when I was um, younger, before I met my wife, before I got married and had children, I had a really terrible experience. And I'll go into that at some point, but that horrific experience um, made it so, it kind of flipped my world upside down. And it made it so that all of a sudden the things that used to be easy um, were no longer possible. Right, things like leaving the house, things like uh, trusting anyone, things like talking on the phone, things like um, having any sort of consistency in schedule or ability. Right, holding a job, uh, getting an education, all of those things. Right, my ability to do those things was ripped from me, and through through time and over the years, um, I had to find shortcuts. I had to find. Uh, workarounds. I had to, and the solution to that was not to try and figure things out on my own, right? It was not to uncover through some like Sherlock Holmes-esque um, process of discovery, uh, right? Like the methods and the tactics and things that, that would deliver all of these amazing and outsized results to me in a tenth the time and without any money and all that. No, but I was forced to admit that I was never going to be able to figure it out on my own, no matter how long I committed myself, no matter how much money I spent um, acquiring the knowledge through my own personal experience. What I needed to do instead was I needed to seek out and find people who would be willing to mentor me. And the thing is, these people had to, they had to be living a life that I wanted to live, right? But a life not that I was currently living or that I could even imagine I would have next year or in five years. I, I needed to go find the people who were living the life that I thought maybe I could have someday in 20 years, right? These are the people that had uh, very successful businesses that had wonderful, they were, they were married with children and grandchildren. Um, they had lived lives of service, of contribution, and of success, right? On many different, by many different definitions of success. So I came to that point where I recognized I needed to go find those people and then I somehow needed to convince them to take their time, that it was worth it for them to spend their time with me to teach me how they did it that it was worth it for them to say, to look at me and say, I'm gonna show you what to do now to save you the 30 years that it's taken me to produce the results that you see I have that you want for yourself and your family, okay? And so it started with one person. I found the first one and then I learned from him and I asked questions and he was willing and, but here's the thing, it wasn't free. That first mentor, that first experience with my mentors cost me almost $30,000. It cost a lot of money. Now, I don't re recommend that you go and take out loans or borrow, but I didn't have any money. And at that time, I had gotten married. I was a newlywed. My wife and I were at a loss for options. We were completely, um, we were at the bottom. We were nearly without hope. And we did borrow money to go learn from the, actually it was more than one person. So it was one person, but they had a, a really wonderful group around them that they taught me um, together. And so we had to borrow money. Like we made that decision. I shouldn't say that we had to. We made the decision as a marriage, um, feeling really almost without hope that our life, my life specifically, um, the things that I was dealing with, and obviously being married, that our life as a family, um, that it wasn't going to get better if we didn't do something drastic. And not drastic as in reckless, drastic as in completely different than what we had been doing in the past, which was actually a good thing because everything that we had been doing, it got us up to a point, right? It allowed us to progress up to a point, but it would not take us any further than we were at that, at that time. And so we needed to do something new that was drastic something that we believed would give us a return to us results that we that we hoped we could have, that we hoped we could experience. And it did. And it was not the first time um, that I, uh, we did not stop after investing, right, in that experience, investing in having a mentor and showing me exactly what to do to build my business at the time. Um, that hasn't stopped. Like to this day, I still seek out the very best in the world at everything from organizational behavior to 
uh, managing a business to even just the, the nitty gritty. I'll find the experts and mentors that I will actually pay and hire and I will go to them in many cases because these people, they charge $100,000 a day, right? And I will pay and go to them to learn from them even just the small things like, well, how to hire people that will stay for five years that can do a phenomenal job that I never have to train myself or spend any time or lose any money um, trying to help them, you know, put them in the right place in the organization. Or um, I would hire someone to teach me copywriting skills, specifically like how to write an effective headline, how to get, how to write a headline that gets people to click every time. Um, and seeking out people to teach me marketing and sales and on and on and on and on. In other videos and other posts, I've actually detailed, I've, I've listed the people that I, that, um, that I consider my mentors and that I have paid to teach me these things, right? And, that, and who I pay right now, currently, to teach me what I am trying to improve at, okay? Which I'm always trying to improve and so should you and I, and I think you are and that's why you're watching this. So back to the Facebook, okay? So the biggest mistake people make is they try to send traffic from Facebook direct to their website and sell their core products. That hardly ever works, right? It is a terrible way to do it. You will almost always lose money on your Facebook. And the reason the reason being is you'll spend money and then it'll take, usually if you if you spend money on Facebook and you drive that person, they, they click a Facebook ad and they go to your website and they see your core product, they see maybe you know a $200 beef uh, share or a $500 or $1,000 beef share, uh, the percentage of people that will go from knowing nothing about you to never having heard of you to to then immediately buying like a multi hundred dollar product is almost zero. Like it is, it's almost zero. A few will, but you're gonna have to send 500 people to get one or two, okay? That's not worth it because those 500 people are gonna cost you a couple dollars at least per, per lead, right? Not necessarily per click, but per lead. And times of 500, you're not gonna sell a thousand dollars worth of beef. And even if you do, that's not profit that you have to factor in all of your other costs there. So you're gonna lose money on that almost every single, in fact, I can't actually say, and I've seen hundreds and hundreds, maybe even thousands, I can't say that I've ever seen anyone make money that way on Facebook as a beef producer. Um, if you think you do, you probably just haven't looked at your books very well, or maybe you got lucky and some of the people that you targeted had already heard of you, right? Or who knew someone who was liking you and therefore you kind of borrowed the trust of the person who had already heard of you, right? And then their friend saw that you know that, that that they liked you and whatever, and then they bought. Okay, but cold traffic, which is the vast majority of what you're going to reach on Facebook, who has never heard of you, they're not going to buy one of your core products, not reliably or in any um, way that's consistent. Instead, what you do, this is what we teach. Okay, this is what we teach in our paid course. Okay, we only have two programs. Right? We have a $16,000 program and a $90,000 program. So this is what we teach in our 16,000. The people who, in order to join our 90,000, you have to have excelled at the 16,000 and made at least 10 times your money to be able to join the 90,000. Okay, so this is what we teach in this course. Okay, here's, here's, here's a core kind of foundational principle of what we teach. If you can understand this and go apply it, you don't need to come join our, our program. You don't need to take our, our expensive, um, high value, but high end program, you can go do this on your own. Okay. And I want you to, I want you to go experiment and try these things. Don't just watch this video. Don't just listen to me speak. Um, and then maybe like feel good about it. Like go do the work, go do the work. That's actually the only reason why we offer paid programs is because even though 95, 96, 97% of what I put out there is free, less than 1% of you actually do anything with it unless I charge. The second I say, you know what? Here's what to do and here's how to do it and that's all for free. If you want me to walk you through it, it's gonna be X amount of dollars and the people who join that program and who pay, who invest in themselves, 100% of them do the work. 100% of them have success. I get, I mean, I get it. I get it. Like that's the same with me. How many times have I sat back and watched a video and felt inspired or motivated or it just like clicked and I was like, oh my gosh, like I see the light. I've had this aha moment and then like I'm going to do all of these things. Let's say maybe it was like seven o'clock at night and I'd say, well, it's dinner time. So I'm excited. I'm going to write a list down and like for tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to start and do these things. And then no, like one of the, the baby doesn't want to go to sleep and my wife is sick and so I'm up all night with the kid and then 
um, you know, something else happened, there's another emergency at work or, you know, one of my employees or one of my clients needs me or whatever, before you know it, no, I'm not applying anything. But every time I say, oh, wow, um, this program looks amazing. Uh, Dan Sullivan, strategic coach, $9,000. Okay, so here's what you get. I get to learn, I'll learn how to organize my business and how to free myself up and how to prioritize my time. And like I see the list of benefits and then I see the case studies and I go, wow, this is amazing. Um, and I watch his videos and I get it and then I say, you know, what? I'm gonna invest in myself. And I swipe that card and then, and then yeah, and then I'm in and then I'm, I'm committed to my success. I'm committed to absolutely just squeezing every ounce of juice out of that orange, okay? Without it, I mean, most of us, including myself, nah, I won't do much with it, okay? Unless I'm absolutely desperate. And if I'm desperate, if you don't have any money, and you're absolutely desperate to earn money, to make something work, you still probably won't do it without investing in, in it, because it, it, psychologically, you're gonna have too much anxiety um, to, act, to be able to do the work effectively and consistently, okay? So even knowing what to do, how to do it in the right order, and you're probably, your anxiety is going to get in the way and stifle you and keep you from doing, even though you have the blueprint in front of you, it's going to keep you from doing it as you should in the order that you should consistently over time, okay? So if you can't afford it, go get a job, go find some way to make money, and then take all the free stuff that I put out there and consistently apply it step by step. Because in all these videos, I go into this stuff. Like I show you how to go... In one video, I showed you how to, how to, how to sell $10,000 worth of beef um, in, seven, in seven days. Like, I mean, right, what else, can, what else can I show you? Like, and it's not a theory. It's like we've done it time and time again, and hundreds of our students have done it. Like, so just take all this fr the free material and, and go do it. Okay, anyways, rant over, back to Facebook. So this is how you make money with Facebook, right? Um, what we want to do and what we what we teach and what I'm going to show you right now is how to acquire a customer off of Facebook advertising to cold traffic to cold prospects people who have never heard of you not all, not at, not at a loss not at a break even but at a profit right because that's the core that is a, that is the core foundational principle of how to how to grow your business is you have to be able to market or advertise at a profit on the front end um, because anybody, anyone can sell to warm prospects. Anyone can sell to a referral. Anyone can sell to a friend of a friend or a neighbor. Anyone can sell at a low price. Anyone can sell by saying 50% off. Excuse me. Anyone can sell, um, anyone can sell to, right? Anyone can ask for a, re for a customer referral and then sell to that referral, okay? Anyone can do that. Anyone can sell... Anyone can sell to their own Facebook audience. Anyone can sell to their own Instagram followers. Um, there's no skill there. There's no marketing. There's no sales. Okay, anyone with a heartbeat can do that, um, and most of you do. Most beef producers do, and that's amazing. The the issue is um, when most of the beef producers who are successfully selling directly to the public rely almost exclusively on those like warm leads, warm traffic, warm prospects, referrals, friends of friends, for most of their business, right? For the majority of their sales. That's where you get in trouble because if that's you, you're leaving the vast majority of the money you could be earning right now today on the table. Because most people have never heard of you. I don't care how big your Facebook page is. I don't care how many, you know, you could have 500,000 followers on Instagram. Most people have never heard of you, right? Even in your own market, most people have never heard of you. In your own city, most people have never heard of you, okay? And so, only selling to the people who know you well, that's not selling at all. That's just letting people buy. And when you just let people buy, not very many people buy consistently over time. Certainly not enough for you to go live the life that you imagined you can have and have this time freedom and financial freedom, okay? The only way to do that for any business, is, for any beef business, is to, to learn how, right? You have to learn marketing. You have to learn how to convert a cold prospect, right, through paid advertising, how to convert that person immediately in the funnel to a new buyer, a new customer, right? And if you can learn that, well, the, the world is your oyster. There's nothing that you can't do. Uh, you could, I mean, you'll be able to 2x, 10x, 100x your sales immediately. And, and anyway, so here's how it goes, right? 
uh, you drive cold traffic from Facebook advertising. This is step one, okay? And it's, it's always like a free offer, right? A free plus shipping offer, that's the one that we teach. It's the one that I recommend. It is literally, it's 10 times better than anything else out there. And I know for a fact that I'm the only person in the world that's teaching this um, to in agriculture, let alone grass-fed beef. Um, so, and, and I've talked about this before, how that's why I'm here, right? I'm here because you're my people. You're the people who, like, our family is just like your family. And we want the same things and we face the same challenges and we the same struggles and we care about the same things. We value the same things, right? And you're the people that I want to serve. And I've served many other people in many other industries across time and countries. Um, but ag and specifically beef producers, grass-fed beef producers, like you guys are the ones that I want to serve. And it's so important that, that I am here and that I'm trying to give you the best of what I've learned, the best of what I have to offer, because absolutely no one else is. There's literally no one else doing that, doing what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to teach you right now. There's no one doing this. There are a lot of marketing agencies out there that they like build websites and stuff, and maybe even they'll run Facebook ads for you, and you know that you can pay them a thousand dollars for a logo that you could go get on uh, Fiverr or make yourself on a website like Emblematic for five bucks or for free. Um, but there is literally no one besides me that's showing you the actual like behind the scenes blueprint, uh, the formula for free, on on how to build a, a multi million dollar grass fed beef business, and so. I hope that what I'm showing you, I hope that you apply it, that you take it and then you just immediately implement it. Immediately implement it. And once you do, you'll see that it all works. You just have to have the courage to take that first step, to risk, I don't, I mean, I don't even know what you think you might be risking. Looking silly, failing in public, doing something wrong. Like nothing that I am showing you or that I've ever shown you in dozens of hours and literally dozens of hours of content on YouTube and hundreds of hours in live trainings. Nothing that I've shown you costs money. It's, I mean, it's all free. And the reason why it's free, even the advertising, it doesn't cost you money if you advertise and then you immediately acquire a customer at a profit. And the reason why it doesn't cost you money is because you say, Facebook, I'm gonna spend $100 today. You spend $100 on Facebook ads. That day, the same day, if you do what we've showed you how to do, that same day, you sell $1,000 worth of beef. That th and so that $1,000 in new customers, right? That'll take, you, that'll take three days before it hits your bank account. So let's say on Monday, you put $100 in Facebook. That same day, you sell $1,000 in beef. That $1,000... Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, by Friday has hit your bank account, and then Facebook the following Monday says, pay us. Well, guess what? You made $1,000. You only spent 100, you made 1,000. So not only have you paid your cost for the beef and shipping and all your miscellaneous costs, but you have enough money to then go pay that Facebook. And this is just the front end. This is just the first sale to the customer. This isn't even where you're supposed to profit, okay? Like, but we just, but we figured this out though, right? And we've taken this. So I got this from um, the, what is the industry? Kind of like the mom industry, I guess, years ago, like se maybe seven years ago, I think seven years ago, something like that. This, this idea or this strategy, I got it from um, a company that was renting a warehouse space from our family, right? Um, they needed a warehouse for their products and it was a nursing cover business. It was a husband and wife that started the business in their home who had never done a business before and it was selling nursing covers that, you know, they kind of put them around their neck and it's so mothers can breastfeed their babies in public or not necessarily in public, but they can breastfeed their babies and have more privacy, right? And so they had this offer, right? This husband and wife had built this business like, I mean, within months from zero, nothing to $14 million in sales. And then they've gone on I don't know how many, how much in sales, but they have to be well over $100 million in sales since then. Um, and they built it entirely, at least that first year, that first, um, what, however many, 10, 20, 30 million dollars on this type of a funnel, okay? So we, we saw that, I saw that, and then we applied it to other businesses, and now in beef, we've applied it to beef, and it works here. And I've taught it in software, I've taught it in cybersecurity, I've taught it to, just actually two days ago at, up at Sundance, I taught it to, um, I think it's called Cat Yupon T. So you can look them up, they're out of Texas. Um, Abby Ann is her name. But uh, she has a tea company. And we were just up at, I met her at Sundance and got to talking and, um, 
and, and I shared and I taught her this and she's already implemented it. She already has the funnel, funnel up and up and running. And sometime tomorrow she'll be sending me the results, right? Like she just, like this works in any industry for any product, even services. You just have to know how to word it, how to, what to do, how to do it, and the right order to do it in. And then this is where I think a program like ours, which is comes in handy and where I think the value and, and kind of the strategic location of actually having a program like this comes in is it's the accountability piece, right? It's the accountability piece because you can know what to do, how to do it, and what order to do it in. And still, most people will not take any action, let alone follow it through consistently over time, over weeks and months to see those results. Even if they see tens or hundreds of people around them that are doing it and succeeding, without that actual commitment to join a program, invest in yourself, I just don't see people doing it. And it's not my opinion like, oh, I just don't see how. No, um, in 12 years, uh, I've done programs like this, many of them in many different industries, both I've created and sold them, and then I paid for my own membership in programs like this. Um, and you just don't see people succeed without them very often. 1% will, but those 1% of people, you can't stop them no matter what, okay? But most of us, we need that social accountability. We need that structure. We need someone saying, like, here's what to do today. I expect that you'll do it and you'll report to me and you'll show me that you've done, done the work. And it's even more powerful, like we've created, we have a community then of people who are in the program and you get to interact and interface with each other, right? And see each other's success day by day. That is incredibly powerful when on day one, you launch your Facebook ad and we've given you a funnel. Like we don't give you a website because they're not effective. We give you a funnel that has every step of the process already built out for you, right? Specifically for your business, that's part of it. We give you a $50,000 funnel. That's part of it, that's on day one. That's even before you've paid us, before you paid us a dime, okay? So, and then on day one, you get to see the other 30 people that are in your cohort who have all invested in themselves, um, they're, they're taking action right along with you. And you'll all share your success, right? You'll say, wow, so-and-so, like Susie, she just made $1,500 on day one, net, right? And Jim, he just did 900 on day one. Like, we've barely got started, right? Um, and then every day, you'll get to see that, that, that kind of the progress of everyone else. But they'll also, there's that social accountability. They will hold you accountable to doing the work. And they don't have to, like, hold, when I say hold you accountable, it's not because they're like, well, come on, Bob. Like, why the heck aren't you doing the work? They probably will do that if you don't do the work. But you're almost guaranteed to do the work because you've invested in yourself, right? You, you, we are so concerned with not losing money that we've invested into something. We're more concerned with that than we are earning new money, right? So if I put, if I put $100 down and I say, here's my $100, um, I'm gonna do everything that I can to get the value out of that $100, much more than I will do to go earn another $100, right? So it's the same with our program and the social accountability and the personal accountability. Um, they work and they, they magnify what you're capable of, right? You take the formula that we have and the actual, the step-by-step, -step, right? It's a 21-day uh, cycle and we show you exactly what to do. And there are video trainings and there's a live coaching call with me every single day at noon where I answer questions from the group and go through everything and pull up my screen my, and we do screen videos and I show you exactly um, how, how to you know tweak things and change things and optimize your ads and change the, the headline on the copy a little bit. And I mean, there's just so much value, but that's why everyone succeeds. That's why it's 100% success rate um, is because it's, the, it's, it the, it's what to do. It's the right thing. Um, you, you know exactly what to do. You know how to do it and it's laid out in an order, right? Every single day. Um, and then the social accountability component, right? And then it's all of the, the confirmation bias and all the other subconscious biases that you have, that we all have within our brains, right? That make us do the things that we do, right? And so anyways, going back to, I started this whole rant on, on something else and we've kind of come all over the place, but that's me again, that's ADD and uh, that's what you get. So. We take this Facebook, we do a free plus shipping offer, we get someone to claim a free package of beef from us, right? So they have the Facebook ad that says, claim your free, you know, today only, claim your free pound of grass-fed beef. 
and they say, heck yes, and they click it, and it takes them to the first page in the funnel that we give you, right? Um, we actually even give you the ads. Uh, we give you the ads and build them out for you. I mean, it's it's a pretty remarkable program. But the, So they go from the Facebook ad to the first page in the funnel, and then they click claim my free pound of, of grass-fed ground beef, and immediately there's a pop-up where they put in their email, their name, their first name and their email. And then it's to progress, and it says to progress, to continue on to shipping information. And so they're highly incented to give you, to subscribe, and give you their email and name. They do that, and then they go to a shipping page, and it shows you exactly, or it, show, it shows them the, the shipping information that they need to fill out, and then there are a few different options. They can get their one pound of grass-fed beef for free, and all they have to do, and it explains right at the top, you know, um, that all we ask is that you help with the shipping and handling cost. And people are perfectly willing to do that because you're giving them a free pound of grass-fed beef. And even with the shipping cost, it's cheaper than that they would pay for at Whole Foods, right? And so they can, it's cheaper than they could get grass-fed beef anywhere else. And so that actually matters right here. You don't want to price your other products cheap. That's not the point. Like that defeats the whole purpose. This is we're trying to qualify a buyer and get someone to kind of cross the psychological chasm from being a cold prospect knowing nothing about you to whipping out their credit card and buying from you, right? Even if it's just paying the shipping cost on a free pound of beef, okay? So that shipping cost, you know, in Facebook, we only target to the local market, right? The people that are really close to you. And that could be, I mean, if you have a 45 minute, you're 45 minutes outside a, a good metropolitan area, well, then you only target like a specific neighborhood within that area because you're going to do the deliveries yourself, you could pay a shipping co or a uh, fulfillment company to do the deliveries, um, and I have, and, and you know we we've liked that, but we also really like interfacing with the customers, right, and being able to drop that off at their home. And so to make that as simple as possible for us on the on the on the delivery end, we only target our Facebook ads to a very small kind of um, geographic area, right? So that just simplifies everything for us. It cuts down on our time, on our gas. Um, it just makes it easier. Okay, and so. Um, all we ask then on that on the on this billing section now is that they pay the cost of shipping. And so since we're not sh if you're not shipping it somewhere, you're just delivering it. Then instead of shipping, you say we all we ask is you help with the cost of packaging. Uh, what is it? Uh, packaging and delivery. Okay. And set it whatever your cost is. Right. You you want to at least break even right here. At least. So if it's one pound, um, wh whatever your cost is going to be. Uh, I think for, for us, we usually do it like seven ninety five, dollars and that makes sure that that covers our, like the cost of the beef, but it also uh, covers the cost of the lead that we paid for on Facebook, okay? Um, and then gas and whatever, right? The miscellaneous cost. And the key is in here, you're not just going to list, like you're going to let them select that one pound if that's all they want, but you're also going to offer them two pounds if they want it, right? And you're also going to offer them four pounds and even eight pounds. And, and here's the thing. You might, I mean, you might look at that and go, why, why? They, they just claimed one pound. Why would we then try to get them to buy more? Well, first of all, the reason why you would do that is because you could dramatically increase your upfront cash flow, okay? And that is huge, right? Because you've taken someone who claimed a free offer and now is going to pay you, you know, eight bucks for a, a free pound and they're covering the shipping or two, they're going to pay you 16 or four, they're going to pay you 32, like, those dollars matter. Upfront cash flow is everything because if they give you thirty-two dollars right there and your co total cost is, you know, twenty, well, th that just c more than paid for the ad cost. Okay, just right there, and we're not even a quarter of the way through the funnel yet. All right, and and then here's why. Not okay. So that was why you should offer other options right there. Now here's why. Here's why it works so well. Um, you'll you'll find that anywhere from twenty to forty percent. We're at about forty percent. Um, of people who claim that free offer will right there select a number that is higher than one. So right there, they will choose two pounds or four or eight, okay? 40%. That's amazing, people, okay? This is a huge deal, all right? So I'll skip through because I'm going long. I, I thought this was only going to be like five minutes at the beginning, so now we're already at almost 40 Okay, so then they, they click, you know, they fill out their, their card information and their shipping information, and then they click submit, right, or claim my free beef. Um, and then it immediately takes them to the next page in the funnel, which is a one-time offer. Right there, immediately, you're going you're gonna to put in front of them this one-time offer, okay? And at this one-time offer, you are going to present them one of your core product offerings. So if it's a 25-pound 
beef share, right? You're going to present that to them right there. One time only, get this at 25% off, okay? And here's the thing. This is why. Um, people who are claiming free beef who say, yeah, it's worth the cost of shipping, um, they want your beef, and so it only makes sense to sell them more beef. Give them an opportunity to buy more. That's not salesy. That's not aggressive selling. Like, if you were to go claim an offer... If let's say you like to go, you're, you're uh, you like to go plinking with your kids, right? Like shooting 22s or something. Okay, um, maybe you know that that type of uh, you know 20, 22 shells have been pretty hard to find the last couple of years. Okay, um, and so if someone put an offer for me for you know 250 or 500 free 22 shells just right there on on Facebook, I would claim that sucker. And even if they said, well, you know, we just needed to pay the 15 dollars in shipping. I'd, I'd freaking, I'd say great. And if they said, well, you could get one or two or 10 boxes, I would click 10. And then after I click submit, they said, well, how about a case of a thousand rounds for 25% off retail, one time only? Well, I want these 22 rounds. So yes, I, like I'm going to buy more. Am I everyone? No. Will everyone buy your one time offer of like a 25% off a $350 product? No, but a certain percentage will. And at this point in the, in the funnel, we're trying to identify your hot buyers, right? The people who want more and more and more. And those people, you don't stop selling to them, okay? I think the most we've sold is we've sold people five additional products in that funnel, okay? At increasing, increasing prices, increasing quantities, and increasing premium of a price, right? So a more profitable per pound um, or per product. Okay, as they go, because you're identifying your hot buyers, right? You want to know who's up and to the right. Okay, so you only stop selling when they stop buying. That's, I mean, that's just, not only is it ethical, that is, that's what people want. That is what they want. They would not be buying it if they didn't perceive that it solved some problem that they thought they had. Okay, and that could be, um, they don't have peace of mind about feeding their family the best food because they can't, they, they haven't been able to currently find food from a farmer that they would trust or you know, a, a, a trustworthy or ethical source of food. It could be you know, the perceived problem that they have is um, they've never had anyone offer to sell them at this quantity, right? And at this perceived value, right? Um, maybe they've never seen people that are selling above prices at Whole Foods and they don't wanna buy at Whole Foods, which by the way, if you're selling at a price below Whole Foods, you're missing the whole freaking point of the game. like. You're a commodity if you're selling at a price below Whole Foods. The only people, like, you don't want to do that because you won't be, I'm sorry, but if you don't raise your prices and sell at a premium and position yourself as a premium product, you're going to go out of business in the next couple of years because Whole Foods is going to continue to lower and lower and lower their prices. And the next, the next step for Amazon is they're going to buy processing facilities and then they're going to contract and do these, these terrible long-term handshake um, contracts with producers, right, to buy their beef from them in the future, but that ties the hands of the producer to only be able to sell at the current market value whenever the buyer is buying, okay? So that's the next step in the evolution of Amazon. They just bought Whole Foods now, and they already have warehouse and distribution centers, fulfillment centers all over the country, um, and now they're setting up grocery stores, additional grocery stores. Today, Amazon Go, their new, like, cashierless, all-electronic, uh, grocery store, the first one just opened, and the next step in this process, in this evolution, is to build processing facilities, okay, to process their own food. And, and so it doesn't get better for small producers if you are selling at a price that is the same or below Whole Foods. It gets much worse for you. It only gets better, um, the future only looks bright if you're selling at a premium and positioning yourself as a trusted authority in the eyes of the people that want to buy from you, okay? And what we do and what grass-fed marketing does for free and what grass-fed secrets that program does for our paid clients and students and friends is we show you how to acquire new customers um, who are the type and who are the, you know, the target, the ideal customer who does not care what the price is, they wanna pay for value and they're paying for peace of mind and they're paying to solve some problem that they perceive that they have that we can offer with our high priced, high quality premium product, okay? So, where, 
Anyways, after after you, you sell them, you know, the one-time offer, then you continue to make offers until they stop buying, right? You downsell them, mean, meaning um, depending on what they do, you can offer them a low, like a lower priced offer, right? To sell them like a t 10 pound steak box or five steaks or, you know, a Valentine's Day special or some other holiday special, right? Um, and ideally you're selling them, you're crossing them, right? The next step, if is you're, you're always presenting them with an opportunity to enroll in your Beef Buying Club subscription, which is a month, to, it's a monthly recurring subscription where every single month on the same day, um, you charge their credit card, their, their card, and then you deliver to them a pre-designed, a pre-outlined package of beef, okay? And that could be new every month, it could be the same every month, but as long as you've set the expectation ahead of time of what it's going to be, what the package will entail, right? Um, so that's kind of, that's, that is the main, or kind of the ultimate end goal of this funnel is to get, is to build up your customer base, your members of your Beef Buying Club subscription product, okay? Uh, because that cash flow, the consistency of the cash flow, that's everything. If you have, right, like if you're trying to sell, um, you don't have anybody that buys regularly or consistently month after month or week after week. You are continually in this place where there's fear and there's anxiety and you are worried about, about losing everything, about not being able to, um, to find new customers or to sell a certain number, to hit a, a quota that makes you profitable, right? Um, and you lose sleep over this. And this is a miserable way to run a business. It's a miserable way, way to live, okay? That's why you have the monthly, the subscription service, right? The subscription product which is our, our uh, beef buying club, right? And that's gonna be, you, know, you can price it, depend, there's, all, there's all kinds, there's, there's really three different ones that we talk about and that we encourage our, our students and our clients to adopt. Um, there's you know a, kind of a, a lower level, which is just a smaller amount, it's for smaller families or individuals, and then a medium one for, again, just a little bit larger families, like husband, wife, and couple kids, and then there's a, a larger one, um, you know, kind of the bigger one, the mo most expensive, the most value also. And these are all the same, like they don't get cheaper the more you buy, okay? They're all priced at the same pound, um, at the same price per pound, okay? And that's all about psychology. You don't want to give people a discount based on bulk. Like, no, you know who else does that? Walmart and Amazon and Whole Foods, and you do not want to go there. You do not want to compete with them, okay? And so even with your, your, the psychology of what you're selling and how you're selling it and to whom you're selling it to, you have to be aware and be careful of that. You do not want to enter into the same psychological marketing strategies as these huge, you know, online, online and offline grocers. Okay, that's just a recipe um, for disaster for your business. So instead, you're always selling, no matter how much quantity, you're always selling at a high price. All right. So, but um, enrolling people consistently, enrolling, you know, more and more new people every day, week, and month over time consistently um, gives you this this steady, consistent monthly cash flow. And that is the peace of mind that will allow you to not only sleep like you haven't slept in years, but to get your life back in order, like start exercising and start spending time with your kids. If you've got little kids, like now you actually have the peace of mind to be able to think clearly enough to go spend time with them, right? To take them to the park or to go to their school plays or coach their soccer teams or read to them at night, right? To go out with your wife on a date or your husband on a date, um, Right, not to mention all the other things that you can do now with money, right? Um, so, but it, it all comes down to building up this this uh, subscriber base, right? These people who are members of your monthly subscription uh, beef product, right? So that is kind of that's the the funnel in a nutshell, and that's kind of how it works, and that's how we think about it, um, and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing, and why I'm I'm putting all of this out there for free and sharing it with you. Um, so that you can have what I have, so that your family can enjoy all of the blessings and the benefits that my family enjoys, and that together we can then share it with other people, right? Like, um, I want to help you, and in turn, y you'll help me because you'll feel grateful after you've succeeded. I, I will give you something that is valuable, and you'll act on it, and you'll succeed, and your life will change. And because this is how we all work, then we feel grateful, and you'll share it with someone else, and they will come, and they will learn, and they will act and do the work and their life will change, right? So you'll become a social billboard, as it were, for, for what I'm trying to accomplish, which really is I'm trying to strengthen the foundation of what I perceive the, to be the foundation of the 
the moral and ethical foundation of, of our country is in agriculture and in the farming community. And that's not to say that there aren't wonderful people all over, because there are. And most of my friends are not in agriculture, and most of my family's not in agriculture. But this is where I see the highest concentration of the type of people that I want and my wife and our family want to spend our life around and with, and the, and the community that we want to raise our children in. And it's where I see the values, the things that we value most and dearest, um, kind of upheld and lived most consistently. And, and so this is where I want to spend my time. This is the community. You are the community that I want to serve. And... Um, yeah, and you know, in um, in giving we also receive, right? And I found that to be true in my life. And so, uh, this this is a gift from me to you. I hope that you'll use it. I hope you won't take it for granted. I hope that you'll go apply the things that I've told you to do, that I've shared with you, and go test them and prove them and see if they work, right? You don't have to. And this is the thing. I invite um, this skepticism, right? If you have doubts, that's wonderful. Bring your doubts, but bring your doubts and do the dang work. Okay? That doesn't mean bring your doubts and pay me anyways. No. Bring your doubts, take the free material, and do the dang work and see that it actually is real, that it works, and that you're capable of doing it. Okay? And once you've done that, you're going to feel so stinking confident, so incredibly energized, so full of hope in the future that either you'll go share it with someone else or you, maybe you'll just build your own business, right? And, and, and benefit your family, which is a wonderful and worthy goal. And, and I hope that you will. So please take these things and go prove, prove that they work, right? Or prove me wrong. Or prove me wrong. Just go do the work. Well, all right. So um, thanks for spending some time with me. I hope that this was valuable. And I, yeah, send me any questions that you have either on Instagram or at my email, the Instagram account, send it to the grass fed marketing. Okay. Not my personal one. Cause I don't check my personal one very much, but my, my grass fed marketing Instagram account, send me questions, direct message them to me or cam at grassfedmarketing.org. And if they are, um, like, uh, not necessarily relevant, but if they're really good questions that, um, are kind of commonly asked, then not only will I'll answer every question, and I always have answered every single question that is sent my way, but if they are especially relevant to the group as a whole, then I'll make an in-depth video on them and post it on YouTube. So, all right. Well, thanks for spending time with me. Now go do the work and succeed.